people. Bought a new guitar yesterday, so I'm looking forward to playing some songs. Set myself, I've set myself a little, little challenge to um, learn a song, you know, from start to finish, and then move on to the next one. So I'm going to set myself a challenge to just play a little bit every day, even if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just focus on one song and finish it. Um, yeah, you know, slow oxidizers tend to be good starters, but not very good finishers. Um, so we need to try and finish things more. But anyway, I want to talk about a really interesting subject, like probably one of the most important things in the universe. And uh, I'm not talking about cryptocurrency, by the way, um, although it's called the same thing. But what I, what I want to talk about is ether or chi or prana or orgone energy. This is the fifth element of um, the universe. And actually, they did... Ether was actually discovered in quantum physics and it's called the quantum mesh. Um, so it's a real thing, you know, it's been measured. Um, and it's a really fascinating um, substance because basically what ether does, it's a life-giving substance, which means that if you input ether into something, a, an organism, it will make that organism more lively, it will give it more life, it will heal it. So it's a very intelligent substance. In many ways, it is the substance of God. It is God running through the universe. It is what gives things life. When we get older, we tend to say that our ether or our chi declines, and this is what causes old age and death. Um, so it's very, very important thing to think about. And obviously, if you think about it in that sense, um, that it is the reason why we're alive, um, then obviously you want more of that thing to make you healthy, to make you more alive, to make you more developed, etc. So this is why I need to tell people uh, how important the pushing down exercise really is. It is, in a way, the, the most important thing to do in if you want to look at it from a certain perspective. Because what it does is it brings this life force, the reason why we're alive, into the body in order to heal us. And a lot of people dismiss the, de the de pushing down exercise. They don't understand it. They think it's a waste of time. So it's actually probably the least done thing on the program. Not many people actually do it. So I'm here to say that the pushing down exercise, you really need to be incorporating into the program because in many ways, it's the thing that's keeping you the most alive. So basically what we do in the pushing down exercise is we visualize this chi moving through the body and you can feel it. Some people can feel it. Some people, it takes a little bit of time. Don't worry about it. Just the idea of visualizing it will bring it into the body. Um, for me, it's quite powerful. Um, for me, it's, it, it re realigns my spine. Um, it's actually stuck a lot in my jaw at the moment because um, there's obviously a lot of tension there that builds up. Most people have tension in the jaw. Uh, if you think about it, you know what I mean? It's tense when you're crying, you get that lump at the back of your throat. There's a lot of emotions attached to, to the jaw um, and ether struggles to run through. So basically, when you're pushing ether down the body, um, it gets stuck in adhesions, in tightness, um, and you'll find tense, it'll get tense in that area. But this means that if the ether is not running through the body right, then it's not providing the ultimate life force that you're all entitled to as a human. And it's one of the reasons why we have certain development foods on the program, because certain foods tend to have more ethereum in them ether in them. So onions, for example, is at the top of the development list because it tends to have the most ether um, within, within it. So this is why you need to be doing the pushing down exercise all the time for one hour a day, two hour a day. It's going to be the thing that's going to really develop you 
um, and really evolve you um, and really get you get you moving forward on the nutritional balancing program. Um, so that's it really. It's a it's a really interesting thing to research. Um, so look it up. Um, and yeah, just make sure you do the pushing down exercise because it's really going to look after you and give you that vital life force energy that keeps everything in the universe alive and moving. Okay, so more questions. Rock and roll. Um, by the way, for all those people asking about the t-shirts, I am working on it. I found a company that is willing to uh, drop ship new t-shirts out for you guys. Um, we're going to have a few different styles, I think. Um, and I'm trying to think of some a few quirky quirky ones. Um, maybe you guys can offer me some tips on what kind of t-shirts would be cool to wear. Um, I'm thinking about one that's like the English, um, keep calm and follow the program with the crown on. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe an I Love Enemas one similar to the I Love New York one would be pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that so it should be up soon. But anyway, I'm going to answer some more questions. I can't get around to answer all of them. Unfortunately, on each one, I'm going to have to spread them out. So I will get around to answering all of them, um, but not necessarily on the upcoming pod, on the upcoming blog. All right, so did you have any periods when you didn't feel like eating vegetables, especially around, around healing reactions? How did you overcome this? Um, yeah, there is times when you basically can go off vegetables. Um, a lot of the times, it's, it's when you're dumping... Uh, minerals, uh, metals, um, especially copper. Um, every time I dump copper, I just go off vegetables. Um, there was one time when I went off vegetables so much that I actually started getting worried because I was thinking, oh damn, like it's, it's a big part of the program and I, and I don't like vegetables anymore. Um, I don't think I necessarily overcome it. I mean, the way to overcome it is to try and push through the healing reaction and to realize what's going off. Um, I tended to eat more of the things that I enjoyed so um, I used to bake my vegetables, I used to, I used to enjoy that. Um, sometimes I would put a little bit of cream on, some tahini, I would maybe put some almond butter on my vegetables just to make them taste nicer. Um, I found, I generally find that if you just put a little bit of uh, olive oil or another type of oil, good quality oil on the vegetables uh, with some salt, I mean that tastes much nicer for a lot of people out there that I know are just eating like vegetables plain. Um, so I tended to swear towards like the stuff that I really enjoyed because I think if you just eat very, very plain vegetables, then it can get, and you're going through that particular reaction, then um, you know there's a chance that you, you're gonna struggle. There is an article on Dr. Wilson's website called uh, veg, uh, Toppings for Vegetables. So you can have a look at that, give you some toppings that you can put on your vegetables um but yeah try and sway towards you know the stuff that you really like I, I generally found any tips for making vegetables desirable in the morning how important is it to space veg intake throughout the day i.e three times or is it all right to cram a load in later in the day so how to make vegetables desirable in the morning kind of follows on from my previous question you know check out dr wilson's article on toppings uh, we have a, a recipes section now on our website in the membership area. So if you go onto our website uh, and sign up for the membership, you can get recipes in there. Um, I am doing recipes actually. I'm going to try and do at least one per week, if not two full video recipes that are in the membership area. Um, but for anyone that's not signed up to that, the best thing to do is to look on Dr. Wilson's website for the, for the vegetables. I personally don't have an issue with eating vegetables in the morning, and now a lot of people do. Um, there's a good Instagram account called NB Food Diary. Um, that person puts up a lot of her own recipes, so you can check that out. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's answered that question. How important is it is it to space veg? Well, it's quite important. The reason being that it allows the digestion to work evenly. Um, you know, it's not a very good idea to eat a lot of eat to just kind of skip some meals and then eat a lot at night um, because it's just going to be hard on the body stressful on the body and more stressful on the digestion I, obviously not going to kill you there's been times where you know you can't eat you skip a meal for whatever reason um, 
but yeah, the reason why we have free meals in nutrition balancing is to, is to keep things as balanced as possible. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we don't like people to snack because the blood sugar is going up and down all the time like a yo-yo and it kind of stresses the adrenals quite a lot and we don't really want that um, too much. Um, so yeah. How long do I hold an enema for? Dr. Wilson says up to one hour. Um, is it more effective to do two in a row or one for 40 minutes, etc.? Uh, you cannot hold it for up to an hour, no problem. I've personally found from experience that the optimum time is around 20 minutes. Um, and Dr. Wilson does kind of say that is a good time as well, 20 minutes. I found that if I go longer than 30 minutes, 40 minutes, it's, it gets more difficult for me to expel the coffee. The, the enema um, and as a result I can feel a little bit spaced out and it's not a very nice feeling. Um, I personally think it's much more effective to do two in a row back to back. The reason being is the first enema gets a lot of the junk uh, out of the system that's kind of uh, being processed. Um, so the second enema kind of works in a much more cleaner environment and it kind of works more effectively. So you know, for optimum, I would say if you do two back to back for 20 minutes, that would be good. Um, that would be more effective than 40 minutes. But depending on you, what you want to do, you can do it up to an hour. It's not going to it's not going to harm you. But for me personally, that's what I do. Um, so, yeah, how many cups of veg do I eat? Well, I try and eat the recommended one, nine cups. I don't measure them, really. I just make sure I get a big plate and you know, that's going to be nine cups. Uh, sometimes I'll eat less, um, sometimes I'll eat more. Um, but I do try and just make sure that my plate is full of vegetables for each meal. Um, I, you know, I don't really go measuring cups and stuff like that. You know, if I've, I have measured it now and again, I'll measure them and it's always about nine or ten cups. Sometimes I eat, you know what I mean, it's not a problem. So just make sure your plate's full of vegetables. Um, and some protein and you think uh, you'll, you'll be doing fine. Uh, another question about uh, acne. One person says um, that they heard me speak about that I had acne. Um, what's my experience with overcoming it and was there any flare-ups? Um, no, in actual fact I didn't have acne when I started the program. I did have acne in the, acne in the past and I made the terrible mistake of having Accutane um, which basically um, was a, is, a, is a very, very dangerous drug in my opinion um, and it shouldn't be allowed, and nobody should be allowed to take Accutane, it really seriously affected my liver, gave me a lot of deep depression, um, gave me a lot of derealization. I think it was a contributor to visual snow. Um, so I don't personally have any, any, um, any tips to give you on that one other than I know that nutritional balancing does very well for people with acne. Um, usually the sort the red light therapy on the face coupled with the coffee enemas tends to do the trick um, however you know teenage guys are just naturally hormonally out of balance and sometimes it can just be difficult to do but if you're doing enemas um, and the sauna, th sauna light therapy on the face um, that's pretty powerful uh, but please tr try and stay away from medications um, especially Accutane uh, because that, that stuff's deadly. All right, so I hope that's answered all your questions. Uh, keep it coming. Um, I am currently making a video on derealization and depersonalization. Um, I'm actually really excited about it. It's going to be like a full documentary style thing that's going to be available on YouTube for everyone to see. Um, I suppose I can give you a little preview. Um, it's a bit cheesy, but it's uh, I've made it in a way that hopefully is going to be accessible to a lot of people at once. So let's see if I can turn this around now. I've got this on the TV over here. All right, so I'll press play. Hello, my name is Lewis Rollins, and this the depersonalization and derealization deep dive. Derealization and depersonalization is a disorder where a person feels detached from reality. Their personality isn't integrated into reality, they don't feel themselves anymore, they feel like they're living in a bubble and they can't connect with people and the world around them. 
In this video, I'm going to talk about my own personal journey with derealization and depersonalization. And I'm here to tell you now that it can be fixed. And I fixed it, many other people have fixed it. And I'm here to show you how. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Looking good, eh? So I'm just so going to talk about my own personal journey and personal story. So that's what I've got up to at the moment. Um, it's around 15 minutes long at the moment. Um, it's going to have a few sections in there. My story, what causes it, how to overcome it, hair analysis patterns, case studies. Um, I have got a few case studies. I'm looking for more. If you suffer from derealization, depersonalization and nutrition balancing has helped you a lot, then please get in touch. I would love to see some case studies. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribed. Add us on Facebook, subscribe to our newsletter, sign up to the membership, and I'll speak to you all soon.